When we feel nervous, we often feel like it's happening in our brain. It's our thoughts that are making us feel nervous, but we can kind of rewire that. We can trick ourselves. So you can either do that by kind of physically letting go. You can be like, rrr, 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 rrr. makes it amazing, so ready to go. Or you can say affirmations to yourself, like I'm brilliant, I can do this, I've got this, I'm gonna smash it, I'm gonna nail it. And then you're just ready to go. How do you feel confident in an interview? Really, it's about body language. Watch for the nuances, the small things that people say without actually speaking. Really try and read into some of that and lean in and sometimes mirror some of what you're seeing and what you're experiencing. Because remember, they're probably just as nervous as you. If you want to make a lasting impression, there's three really simple things that you can do. The first one is try and remember the person's name. So if you meet someone and you remember it for next time, I always feel like that's just the best feeling. Number two, make them feel good. What you say can be a bit nerve wracking and sometimes you trip over your words and you might not get it right. But if you make the other person feel good, they'll be sure to remember that. How do you deal with stage fright when you're actually on the stage? You pause, you take a breath, and actually, those pauses can come across as a dramatic pause. It gives you that time to think and really come up with your answer. But also, it just sounds great when you just suddenly stop. Okay. Okay. Networking feels very daunting, completely understand that. But what you have to remember is that everyone is there to talk to you, that's kind of the point. Just go up to everyone, give them a strong hand and say, hello, my name is Anoni. I am an influencer, podcaster, comedian. You get the idea. Just be super confident, super chill, own the room. What do you do when you're about to put together a presentation? I start by using a quote. So really think about what do you want people to do after they've heard your presentation. Because then you remember that you're writing a story and there should be a beginning, a middle, and an end. And what you want to do is make sure you get people to that end point. 